Welcome back, adventurers. Episode 12. And today we're going to be venturing deeper into the Shadow Cursed Lands in search of the Last Light, a Harper camp that we were invited to. The Last Light Inn. A Harper told us about a place nearby that is protected from the Shadow Curse. The people there may know how to get to Moonrise Tower safely. And the Harpers took the Moon Lantern and asked us to meet them at the Last Light. We also turned against the Drider, who was initially our guide. It is clear that the Parasites are coming from Moonrise Towers, infiltrating the towers and finding the source of this evil may be our only chance of finding a cure. We also picked up this side quest right here. Investigate the Selenite Resistance. We should investigate further in the Last Light Inn. Let's go ahead and take a quick long rest. See if anybody wants to chat. This dark land must be filled with the broken, the beaten, the desperate. The perfect praying ground for a devil who offers a way out for those who sign on the dotted line. I hope we end up seeing our friend Raphael down here somewhere. That fiend is far from our friend. I think he'll stay the perfect gentleman, as long as we read the fine print. When I was taken to his house, I was caught off guard. But now, now I know what to ask for. Interesting. You will help me find him, won't you? Full of bad ideas, though, you are. This is definitely one of the worst. <laughs> That's quite the achievement. But trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'm sure he'll turn up at one point or another. Okay. You know, I might have to spec out a Beastmaster Ranger here soon, just because the Animal Companion seems to be bugging out all the NPCs. It's really unfortunate, because it's like my subclass. But I could play a Hunter Ranger and then just pretend that like something happened to Fern and we could add that into the character's backstory or something like that. Or maybe the Absolute took Fern and we're in search of her as part of our main quest. 44? Off we go. I should have done level two aid. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, let's go check this place out. And okay, that's the Harper place. Man, I still don't have a shovel. Oh my god. That up. See what this Dwergar was saying. Shit and ear and his shit and scouting tasks. You Dwergar, find another way through the Shadow Curse. Sure, right? Shit and ear. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes. I killed you in the Underdark. You can't be. Ha ha ha. I found your way through the curse. 
Shitting near. The way through the shadow curse is to let the curse go through you. I wonder if I have a shovel back at my camp. I'm gonna have to put like a big sticky note in front of my monitor at the end of this session. So I don't forget again. Okay, we got a waypoint here. Beautiful. We're entering the shadowed battlefield. That looks interesting. Let's check out what's over here first, though. Oh, no, don't go that way. Can't you just jump right here? This place is so cool. Plates of the earth have been shattered by the magic of the shadow curse. Utterly fascinating. Unless you happen to be standing on it, of course. Kind of reminds me of Elden Ring a little bit. Okay, this is back where the measles were. I don't think we went into this area, though. Let's go check it out. North, last light in. South, Rythwin Town. That looks creepy. Alright, let's go that way. We'll go to the last light in first to talk to the Harpers to see what's going on, and then we can focus on exploration a little bit more, but I think it's smarter to go meet with the Harpers. For a warm bed and full stomach, look no further. Welcome to the Last Light Inn. Oh wow, we made it? Well, this should be fun. We'll talk to the Harper's faction. Swift as my feet can kill shadows here. Something must be keeping it at Okay, play. everybody's a Harper here. And you know, my ranger actually should be able to recognize the Harper faction in his backstory as a good faction, so. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Easy. He helped us out in the shadows. Come. Jahira! Oh, man. No way. So just so you all know, Jahira is from the original Baldur's Gate games, and she's one of the more, I guess you could say, important, more popular companions, and definitely a canon character from those games. I actually have her in my group right now on my Baldur's Gate 1 run. Like a noble beast in a snare, release me, druid. Nervous? I have an inkling you've reason to be. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Okay, let's do a strength check. Rage against the vines. This will be interesting. Take Carlax bonus too. Stand 
down. Or we'll put you down. Hold. I can explain everything. I'm not interested in the absolute's manipulations. Harpers, cut this true soul down. Oh no. Stop. Hold on, Jahira. I think I know this one. His eyes meet yours. There's no recognition there. Just a sick intensity as his voice reverberates in your mind. If you want to survive this, then trust me. One true soul to another. He's infected. I. But he's not with the cultists. They helped me fight them off a while back, in fact. Is this true? Inter I thought we were about to get into combat with Jahira and the Harpers. He's right. Mind flares infected me, but they do not control me, Jahira. How is that possible? Oh man. Okay. You know what? So we'll we'll RP this as my character obviously knows of the Harper faction, especially because my character was somewhat part of the Emerald Enclave back in the Misty Forest. He definitely knows about the Harper faction, and they work together. And he's also heard of Jahira before. She is a legendary adventurer. So we're gonna go ahead and show her the artifact. Damn. What in the hells is that thing? Tell Jahira everything you know about the artifact. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me, why have you come here? <laughs> I'm here on holiday. To destroy the Absolute in its lair, Moonrise Towers. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Yes, this is so awesome. This is heavy. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Yeah, the, the Jahira that almost <laughs> sicked a pack of Harpers on us. Now we'll just go with number two. You know her? Not personally. I mean, I wish. She's an absolute legend. Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid, adamant, tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Huh? I like so happy. I think I agree with her, though. I'm pretty damn happy too. Yeah. Oops. There's more where that came from. Wish we had stone. Hide those helms. They're kind of ugly. Okay, let's check out the last light in. Do you hear what's new about supplies? Look at home. Burning through our oil. Certainly wasn't. Just about do. A glimmer of hope. Just about. The darkness. Just about. That's Shouldn't one hang way around too long, it. though. You could also say it's a prime target. 
the one pocket of light in the gloom. How's the barricade? Can't chat. I need to reinforce the barricade. But it can take a beating. This is awesome. Clerics go safely. Yeah, so that started getting a little awkward. Okay, so here's the end right here. Let's just see what's over here. Got the harper symbol right here, a harp. And actually, Elminster times. is a part of the harpers. I'm not sure if in modern lore, if he's separated from the harpers, that's a possibility, but that wizard that we met a few episodes ago like was a big part of the harpers the foundation. Okay, let's talk to the animals first. Always good to get an idea as to what they think. No, still incapable. Incapable of what? Not for you to know. <laughs> You're the ox I met back in the grove. You were very hungry then. I saved you all and now you have food. I might skip through a few of these dice rolls, the less intense ones. So if you guys see it like skip ahead a little bit, that's because I'm clicking the uh, skip button. Well, come close, your mind to mine. <laughs> no. Are you satisfied? What the hells was that? My little secret. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. Your secret, whatever it is, is safe with me. Good little hero. What was that? For a minute, I thought it was the tieflings, and you know how the game, I feel like it glitched out on me a little bit and said that I didn't help the tieflings when I did Come kill the goblins. Now. I hope that's not the tieflings. Do you like our new friend? He's new. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Glad to see you made it, too. I remember you from the grove with the druids. I hope to see you again. And now I have. Love his accent. How'd you make it through the shadows? On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. Alright, what is going on with this guy over here? Scurry on now. I want to know what you are. I admire your ability to graciously suffer the frustration of your desires. Oh, man. I have to investigate this. Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding. Now. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Damn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's so funny. It's an ooze. And the ooze wanted to live as a cow? I kind of respect that, but the ooze needs to die. Okay, this is our first ooze in Baldur's Gate 3. Resistant against slashing, resistant against, light, against lightning, and no acid at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and... I don't think I need to... 132 HP? Damn, dude. Might have to actually rage. wonder if the Harpers would help. Okay, what do we get here? Ooh, look at this one. Magic Retribution. Until the end of the Barbarian's Rage, enemies that hit them take 1d4 force. Hundred thirty-two HP. Hmm, let's just do a Guiding Bolt. To level one. Back up a little bit. Do a cantrip. Eat this. 
Very nice. And then... Damn, this freaking acid. I might have to back up a little bit. Put wolf right here. Um, we'll take a range shot. Okay. Yes. Okay. Acid doesn't seem to be affecting us right now. Let's try another guiding bolt. Yes. And that will give us advantage on our next attack. You know what? Let's go in. Reduces armor class by two. I didn't see that on Karlak. Okay. Wonder if the rage does something against that. Okay. Of fire acuity. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain arcane. What the heck is this? Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per remain per turn remaining. Whoa. You're more likely to land your attacks, your spells that require attack rolls, and your spells that require saving throws are more likely to take effect. It'll be harder for the enemy to resist. Shapeshifter's boot. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a 1d4 bonus to all checks. Wow, this is... Really good stuff. No rest for the wicked, I see. Awesome. We don't have a shapeshifter yet. Oh, better than nothing. Call Fern in. Let's see if she scares away the NPCs. If they start running. I might dismiss her, and then we might just go become a hunter ranger. Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <laughs> <laughs> you were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Okay. Interesting start to uh, the last light in here. Let's see what's going on in our surroundings. A few of you commented uh, on a few of my episodes and asked me to stop swinging the camera as much. And I apologize. Oh, is this a shovel? This is just a habit that I've always had with games like this. So I'm not sure if I can really get out of it. I'll try to not swing it around as much, but... Look at the freaking bubble here. Oh, we're like up against like a lake or something in the Shadow Curse lands. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's go talk to Jahira. Can't slow down. This is this game is so amazing so far. Got a little dock area right here. It's chilling with the freaking Harpers, man. I wonder where this brings us to. Ooh, the cellar. I wonder if we could take some camp supplies. They wouldn't mind, would they? Everything is rotten in this damn Shadow Curse land, even within the Harper's Refuge. All right, doesn't look like there's anything good down here. Evidence chest. 
All right, you know what? We're not going to steal from the Harpers right now. Because we like the Harpers. But we could, we could peek in here, though. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to take some dye, right? 12 gold, I mean. Not that big of a deal, is it? Last light, detention cell key. Gotta be a prisoner in here or something. Whoa. Okay, let's go talk to Jahira and see what's going on. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Really? He's got a weapon? The hero's got her weapons. What to do? Let's walk in and see what happens. Are they running for my wolf still? Don't wander far. We need to talk. They're running for my wolf. <laughs> Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my <laughs> god. To your very good health. All right, let's smell the wine first. Oh, forgot to use guidance. Didn't need it. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass. A herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. Mm, interesting. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. <sighs> We're not drinking that. You don't know what you're missing. Much as we like Jahira, we're not letting her. Well use... over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? You gotta understand why she's so suspicious of us though at the same time. I see now why you spiked my wine. Just answer the question. Yes. The parasite has given me powers I never had before. It's changing me for the better. Hmm. Wow. So it's trying to change me to win me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. And the reason why this is deception is because, as it says in the bottom left, I have used my illithid powers. Which I have. But over time, I decided that I don't want to use them too much. Alright, let's just say... Let's just say no. The answer is no. It has no influence on me whatsoever. I find that decidedly hard to believe. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Who, what is he? General Gatherick Thorm. Remember that name. 
He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute, intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Okay. I mean, she just revealed a lot. Army of absolutists that want to take over the city of Baldur's Gate. And Cuthric Thorm also can't be killed, at least not in the traditional way. What do you have in mind? Protected by your artifact. You can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Seems like I'll be doing most of the heavy lifting. You're the only one who can get inside the towers. You were born for this mission. Or made for it, rather. Besides, you need this. You need to heal yourself of your infection. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Let's have Karlak talk to Jahira real fast. I'll move the rest of my party away. <laughs> Karlak nervously waits behind, staring at Jahir out of the corner of her eye. Finally works up the courage. Isabel's in her room upstairs. She'll be expecting you. Okay, there's nothing special. Let me make sure that my Karlak's uh, AC... Okay, good. I don't want to make that error that I made before. Wow, man. Look at this. I think this says welcome right here in the Thoras alphabet. Looks similar to the one in the basement in the Blighted Village, which we actually didn't do. And then this says vegetables. Thoras alphabet is the most, pretty much the most common, common race language or alphabet Not as bad as it could have. used on the Sword Coast. Okay. Well, it's actually letting us loot this stuff without it being... No, we're going to have to lockpick it. Okay. Check out this other room over here. This is so cool to be in an inn. That might be worth a look. Whoa. Snowburst ring. When a wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 15 foot circle of ice around the target. Whoa. That's actually, I'm writing this down. It's actually really good. Cause you can use a ray of frost cantrip. So let's go ahead and put that on Gale, and next time I use Ray of Frost, well, Ray of, hold on. Yeah, no, this will be great. Ray of Frost halves movement speed if it successfully lands, but now it'll also make like a thing on the ground, and we don't need water on the ground to make use of that. Awesome. Oh, looks like I have another one. That's a shape-shifting ring, okay. Wow. 
Man, I just want to be I just want to be in this adventuring group right now. Why do I got to go back to real life after playing this? Why do I got to edit videos after I end this session? I just want to be working with Jahira. All right, let's see if we can go find Isabel. This probably was a popular tavern back before the Shadow Curse. Nice. My old friend. Oh. Very good to see you again. Clever Rouge showing off your little artifact. Jahira was all too eager to believe you. Interesting. Are we the only true souls in this place? Let's play along with them for a little bit. For now. I suppose General Thorne sent you to help with my mission. That's all right. I don't mind sharing the glory. This man takes orders from General Thorne. Helping him may be just what you need to gain deeper access to the cult. What is your mission here? Isabel, the Salunite cleric that guards this place. General Thorne wants her alive. Why that cleric specifically? The general speaks for the absolute, and I don't question the absolute. Wow. Decisions, decisions. I can take the cleric myself. I won't waste time in a petty tug of war. We'll do this together. We've got the cleric alone. Now's the time. I wonder why Karlak disapproved of that. I'm just playing along. I'm not actually. Oh, wow. We can fight him right now. Let's get moving then. Isabel's on the balcony. Should be nearly done with her prayers. Let's go say hello. Okay. Oh man, Shadowheart is not going to like Isabel. I didn't realize I had an audience. Isabel, this is... The true soul who's going to save us all. Pleased to meet you. And you. I've heard you're the protector of this inn, the Banisher of Shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Marcus, 
What's wrong? Isabel, I've just gotten word. I need you to come with me. Do you hear his orders? Come with you? Where? Let's do this. Remember, Ketherick wants her alive. What the hell is going on? Wow, we can say, just go quietly. Isabel, he doesn't want to hurt you. We're going to rat him out right now, though. Definitely don't want Isabel going with him. Marcus is a true soul, Isabel. He's here to kidnap you. <sighs> Pathetic. The Absolute sees all, you fool. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <laughs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel. Oh, man. That's not good. That's really not good. Moon Maiden, guide my hand. Come along, Isabel. Ooh, starting off with an opportunity attack from Gale. Damn. No, don't swing it. Oh man, he's gonna swing at my wizard. Oh. Ah. Okay. Let's... Got a guy coming in right here, too. Yeah, let's just go after this guy. Target's too far. There we go. Awesome. Alright, let's start off with a... Let's do a level 3 bless, and we'll bless Isabel, too. Bless everybody here. Wait, hold on. Who did I just bless? Cancel. You got one, two, three, four. Okay, there he is. All right. Okay, and then let's pull out a spiritual weapon. Put the spiritual weapon at the door. Try to hold this guy off a little bit. What are we going to get? Retribution. Enemies that hit them take one to six force damage. Oh, damn. Oh, no. What the heck? What just happened? I'm not even on tactician. Don't think she's dead. Marcus didn't want her dead. Wow. Isabel. No. And the nine hells happened. Marcus was a true soul. He said he was taking Isabel to Catherick Thorm. And you had no idea. After Marcus vouched for you at the gate, he didn't confide in you? There's no time for this. We have a shadow curse to deal with. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can just 
feel like all the different directions that this story could go, especially in this part right here. I think we got really unlucky with the RNG with Isabel. I, I'm pretty sure you can probably save her. You're right. There's no stopping it now. Isabel is gone. Soon the shadows will wash us all away. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, your mission does not change. You must find Catherick Thorm. And you must kill him. As impossible as that task sounds, there must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from... But hark. Something stirs. happening they'll all be taken by the shadows only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate we cannot hesitate not even for those we knew those we cared for they're no longer who they were still your hearts and steady your hands to battle Wow oh man we're wiping the entire Harper faction Dude, this is crazy. This is actually crazy. All right, we might actually have to go. My turn's not for a while. I might have to force a choke point here. Twenty-eight, twenty-eight, thirty-two. Oh man! Put creatures into a magical slumber. Select targets up to a combine of forty hit points. Okay, let's just um focus in on this guy right now. Actually, this would be a great time for me to drop a fireball. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, maybe we will be okay. All right, Shadow, I think we need another... Oh, nice. Oh, no, we're not concentrating on Guidance. So let's go ahead and we don't have an action for this turn. So how are we looking on HP? Everybody's looking pretty good. Jahira's looking good. We've got to make sure we protect her, too. Let's take Shadow and see if we can... Love to get up somewhere. I wonder if I have a potion of fly. No, I don't. Um, actually, it might be a good time to drop a mirror image. One of the best spells in the game. But mirror image is an action, so we can't do that this turn. Let's go ahead and back into this corner a little bit. You'll make excellent. Nice fireball combined with uh, that spell that Jahira just did, Sleet Storm or something like that. All right, Karlak. Think honestly. Yeah, we're just gonna have you charge right in. Protective lights. They surround you and nearby allies, increasing armor class by one. That's cool. Under their noses. The fight. Let's go. Okay, Wolf Carlac seems to have that under control. Let's send you over here. Get a nice little cleave attack off. Right. 
Nice, 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 nice. Okay, well, the first fight didn't go too well, but we're doing good in this one. Alright. Fern wants to help out. Nope, not gonna make it there in one turn, so let's just help out Jahira. Nice. And then Gal, let's have you come over here. Disadvantage because the area is dark over here. Man, there's a lot of these things. This is actually really sad. When you think about it, like this was a Harper camp. And pretty much every single one except Jahira is needing to be killed right now. You know what I mean? Alright. I think it's time for a little bless. Do a bless level 2. Do bless level 1 actually. Hey, I like it, I like it. And then we'll back her up a little bit again. No way! Jahira just shape changed, I think, into a panther. Cast Hunter's Mark. One at a time, baby. Very, very nice. Things are everywhere. Shadow Cursed Undead. Those who die in the shadows are cursed to remain there forever. These undead have reduced hit points and strength, are resistant to necrotic damage, and cannot use spell or weapon actions. Okay. That's new. Two HP, so let's do a magic missile. Let's do a magic missile level three. Let's do one on this guy, two on that guy. Actually, three to be safe. And then we'll help out. Oh, this is going to be great. Watch this. That was awesome. Magic Missile is so good. Picking off low HP enemies. Yeah, Jahira's a uh, panther right now. That's so cool. Hope we can get her in our group. Alright, we're going to leave the one HP to him. I'm actually going to... Are these guys respawning? I feel like I'm not making any progress. Hold on. I feel like there's more enemies now than when I started. <laughs> okay, I think it's time. Well, we can't do spirit guardians because we're doing bless right now. We got a lot of spell slots with her though. Looks like everybody on my team is doing pretty good HP wise. All right, let's just go ahead and drop a guiding bolt. The guiding bolt level one. I'll help out Wolf over here a little bit. Dude, they're still coming up. This is crazy. We weren't able to save Isabel from Marcus. The true soul infiltrated Last Light. When she was captured, the shield protecting Last Light collapsed. Reach the last... Okay. Let's go, Karlak. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. 
Okay, we got, who do we got Hunter's Mark on? Nobody. So let's go ahead and take care of this guy first. Yes, yes, yes. We're doing great with our attack rolls. Barbed Vine. Okay. Oh, Jahira's super low HP right now. She's in wild shape, though. Should be okay. Let's go help her out, though. Okay, 24 HP. We got three right here. Let's help out Jahira. Really don't want to hit her by accident, though, because she's still showing yellow. That was perfect. Back up a little bit so nobody can shoot us after we shoot. Wonder how the little cows are doing in there. Whoa, they died from the shadow curse. All right, oh, Jahira's doing fine with HP. That's your wild shape form. Nice. It's called Ice Storm is the name of that spell. All right, it might be time to go on the offensive with Shadow. I'm not going to lie. Could do, could do Glyph Warding, though, too. This is a great spell. A really great spell. <laughs> oh, man, the screams. Such a good spell. All right, and then we're going to toss Karlak a heal. See ya. Get right in his face. Okay, that's a bigger vine right there. I guess the vines just sprout whenever they die. So I shouldn't have left actually with Karlak. Oh, damn, dude. Whoa! deer has got four HP right now. Um, okay. Can't give up. Let's, um, Whew. okay. I think I might need a mass healing word here, to be honest with you. What if I can get Carlac in that, too? Let me click on it. Carlax at 39. No, we're gonna do a it's five to eight healing the mass healing word, but if we do a regular if we do a level three healing word, we'll give Jahira a little bit more HP. Click on her portrait. Take you. And then I'm also going to throw a potion at her. Okay, hopefully she has time to wild shape or something. Honestly, I might throw another potion. Wish I was an evocation wizard so I could use fireball right now. What is this thing? Product resistance? Okay. Here is at 25 HP. I don't know what happens if she dies. I don't think you can use resurrection scrolls on people that aren't in your party, and she's not in my party yet, so... It makes me a little bit nervous. But we're gonna fight for her life right now because everybody else in my party seems to be doing pretty good. 
need to get the daylight spell at some point. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good idea to throw a potion with Gal. He's so powerful. It might be better just to do a shit ton of damage on this damn thing. Path is interrupted. Hold on, y'all. Getting Path is interrupted. It's hitting the vine. There we go. Nope, Path is interrupted still. I mean, you can throw it at the ground, but sometimes it doesn't take heal right away. Okay, you know what? This is Gal. Let's go ahead and let's do something to this damn tree. 8 to 48 damage. We could kill that thing in two turns, actually, if I land a good fireball. Oh, yeah, I think that was the right call right there. Okay. And we have spiritual weapon. You're going to stay back here. Shadow heart you've already used. Do we have any potions of haste? I don't have any actions right now to take one, but I need to start paying more attention to the potions as we get further into unknown territory here. All right, now we just got to pray that Jahira has another wild shape. Come on, Jahira. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I feel a little bit better. Let's instantly go over and help out Jahira instead of the magical weapon. Damn it, still got one HP. You gotta be kidding me. I wonder if this is worth the cost. You gotta be kidding me. so sad if that missed. Okay, I think a vine's gonna sprout up, isn't it? Back up. Okay, who's left? I think it's just this guy over here. I think it's got a hell of a reach. I meant to put it, damn it, I meant to put it behind it a little bit so I could actually get up here without, hold on, let's see. If, it's kind of in a bad position. It's going to be hard for me to move my melee characters up there. Disadvantage, too dark. Spiritual weapon should light that area up. Harlack might get hit here. Nice! It's all over. They're all gone. My brave ones, my friends, my harpers. I led them here. To this. Truly sorry for your loss. But you live. A single green leaf holding fast on a tree ravaged by winter. Where do we go from here? Frankly? I don't see another option than to make a desperate dash back to Baldur's Gate. Chances are slim I'd survive the journey back. But if I can warn the Dukes an army of absolutists is on the march, perhaps the city still stands a fighting chance. Wow. 
two totally different options here, so the fight is here with Ketherick. Join my camp, and when the time comes, we'll face him together. Or have her go ahead to Baldur's Gate. And Larian just does such a good job making you question your decisions. Because you know that this choice here is going to change things. Like, if she goes ahead and warns the city, that might change things. But we need her help at our camp. She's very knowledgeable and wise. The fight is here with Cuthric. Join my camp. A proud determination of yours should shame me. But it heartens me instead. Pull aside the curtain of years and I can see myself echoing your resolve. Very well. I'll join you. And when Ketherick falls, I'll be there. For us, for them, and for the ones we love back home. Wow. Okay, so Jahir is going to our camp, and I'm assuming we can recruit her into our group. Although it didn't work for Helsin for me. Damn, man. I have a feeling that those of you guys that are watching your run at the last light in may turn out very different than mine. Seems like there's a lot of things that can go wrong here. Ooh, we're getting all sorts of little recipe things. Alright, well, this is going to be a great natural stopping point for this episode here. So we'll return back in a few moments. And, uh, yeah. We're going to go see if we can go back to camp and maybe get Jahira into our group. I'll see you all momentarily. Welcome back. Let's carry on with episode 12 here. So we are going to head out now, further into the Shadow Curse lands. An attempt to infiltrate Moonrise Towers. We do have a Moon Lantern now. Send somebody up here. I wonder if there's a shovel sitting around here somewhere. Got some great swords, torch. Nobody has a shovel at the last light in? You gotta be kidding me. Maybe there would be one near the, the cows. Oh, wrong button. Oh, this thing's still big. Oh, is there not a shovel in here? Wait, is that a shovel right there? Nope. Dude, there's gotta be a shovel just chilling here somewhere, right? Oh, wow. Harper set up some traps. I don't even know what's up here. I like those sound effects. We should probably rest after that one encounter. Let's see if we got the Moon Lantern now. Maybe I'll give the Moon Lantern to... Maybe Karlak? Ooh, look at that. 5 to 10 damage. And it comes with a class action as well. Looks like there's something inside the Lantern. Inspect it closely. Okay. Put it on, Karlak. Keep forgetting that I have all these things for my gear. Oh, dude, that is sick. And here we go. Inspect Moon Lantern. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. Oh, please! Oh, golly me, oh my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. What the heck? Your fuel for the lantern? 
How does that work? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Cruelty and cleverness are all too common bedfellows. Let's side with cleverness alone, shall we? See what we can do to save this verse-loving pixie. Who are you? My name? My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? I don't know if I trust this right now. I mean, Jahira knows these are here and she was okay with it, right? I need protection from this curse. If I release you, will you help me travel through the shadows? It would be my pleasure, truly. Once I'm freed, I'll help you duly. What's this mechanism at the base of the land, Turn? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. All right, so we're going to ignore for now. I'll gut you like a oh. ten-day-old if you don't release me right this moment! I was going to... I was going to consider it, but I wanted to go to camp and talk to Jahira first. Gutted many ten-day-olds in your day? <laughs> Never give them enough rope to hang you. Whoa. Okay. No, no, no! Okay. All right, let's go to camp. Neat. Go to camp. If I took Jahira with me, the question is, who would I take out of my group? I like Gale because he's a wizard. I like Shadow. I could get rid of Shadow a little bit. Because Jahira is going to have healing word. All right, let's see if Jahira's here. Let's have a chat with everybody first. Catch up, make sure everybody's okay. Stop me I'll start with Lazel. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Baldur's Gate. Ask Lazel about the disc from the crash. The disc appears in your mind's eye. Lazel sees it too and considers the vision. Tissu markings. Ancient. I recognize them, but I can't make sense. No. Wait. The texts are enciphered, but there's a common speech translation beneath, carved in a different hand. It's a story about... A I think I already did this. ...in concert with Lazelle's. Yeah, we already did this. My bad. This text is heresy, if you must. Well met. Okay, nothing out of will. Soldier. May the darkness protect you. Oh man, I totally forgot. I picked up a night orchid in the Shadow Curse lands. Remember when you told me night orchids were your favorite flowers? Rings a bell? Why? Oh man. Did I should I give it to her? Well it just so happens I have one right here. Oh hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. <laughs> Joking. They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. It's just a token. I don't expect anything in return. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All the same. Catherick Thorm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Okay, so Elson's still here? A gale right here. How can I help? Okay, we're good with him. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Good with Astaria. Got Volo and Helson. I guess Jahira is not here yet. Cozy setup you have here. Okay, I'll... nothing new out of him. The shadow curse is upon us. 
As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from these lands. We're in the midst of the Shadow Curse now. Is there any more you can tell me about how to lift it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. It is a living being in the form of a young fae boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations, but since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. What should I look for exactly? I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the shadow curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. According to Helsin, if we want to lift the Shadow Curse, we must find Thaniel. That's a nice name. The Spirit of the Land. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay. Let's take our rest. Unless I'm blind, I'm not seeing... Oh, uh... uh, maybe she's up here. Oh, oh she is! He's chilling with withers. I suppose this place is no worse for wear than my last lodgings. Though I cannot say the same for myself, I fear. The battle, the escape after. I might need to lick my wounds a while before I can be of use to you. Okay. You want to talk about what happened at last light? The time for words will come when we lay my harpers to their final rest. I owe them that. But first, I owe them justice. Moonrise must fall. So what now? You know your task. Gatherick Thorm clawed his way free of death. Find out how, so we can send him back. Okay, all right. She needs a little bit of time. I'm not going to press her on it. Thou walkest alone. On all these harsh nights, thou hast sought no company. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about my romance. My love life is none of your business, skeleton. Love is no domain of mine, but it is often cited as the purpose of mortal life. Wherefore turnst thou from it? I have better things to be doing right now. And thus thou art alone. Okay. Skeletons. That's kind of cool that they put an NPC in there. It looks we're going to get some more camp followers. Pretty cool they put an NPC in the game that kind of pushes you a little bit to let you know that you can pursue romance. Look at this. What is this? This is cool. This is a huge camp right here. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and go to bed. Maybe we'll pull Jahira into our group after our next little session here. I think I like our setup here. I had a feeling we were getting something. <laughs> My character's expression. It's like watching a beach flounder flop back to sea. Is that the idea? Oh, goodness. Is it all that bad? I'm dreadfully out of practice. No better time to brush upon my skills then. It would do me no good to fail my new partner.
Keep practicing, Will. I'm sure you'll get the better eventually. Maybe. But I'm not so keen to perform solo. A duet's always been more my style. Which is to say, may I have this dance? No, Will. I'm not interested. Are you sure? I've been rehearsing, you know. I'd hate to put all that effort to waste. Oh, his um, face. His face when I... I mean, yes, of course. The sun only rests for so long. I'm surprised I got that cutscene. It might, it might not be romance, but it definitely gives me the feel that he's coming on to me a little bit. I don't think I've done anything besides... I mean, I have been nice to him. I want to know what exactly triggers those scenes. Will's supposed to be my boy, you know? All right. I'd love to, thanks. Here we go. This is actually the wrong way, but I'm genuinely curious as to what's up here. Glad to see someone in this place got a proper burial. Any shovels around here? Oh my God, a shovel. Yay! Now you guys can stop making fun of me. Arcane cultivation. And one additional spell slot. Let's go ahead and give that to... Yeah. I'll. Charmed, I'm sure. Cool. We got one extra level five spell slot. Might as well start taking advantage sure. of that stuff. Okay, we'll lead Let's the way with Carlac. But actually, I should do my spells. tactician run alongside this run. I mean, I'm way further behind on that run, but the camp supplies, you need 80 when you rest on tactician. It's also much more difficult, so like finding items and looking for food is like way more important. I haven't really felt that as much unbalanced right now. Okay, that's just like the back side. At least we explored the map. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the last light in. We'll go out the front door and let's head towards Moonrise Towers. we we'll go up this way, see if we missed anything. Like we're gonna be running into a combat encounter here shortly. There's got to be something going on. Yeah, like what the heck is this? Oh my god! Shadow Curse Shambling Mound. Okay. Well, double fire damage though. So. Or, actually, no, he has fire damage. The whole resistance thing is just confusing me. Wish they would just say resistance and vulnerabilities. Okay. Um. I think we gotta do it. There's all these little needle blights around, too. I wonder if I can stealth kill a few of those. 
Hmm. It's going to be interesting, too, without the Moon Lantern. I'm not sure how much of the area the Moon Lantern will be able to cover. That might be taking a lot of damage. Let's take, um, take Gale. I don't even see a good place to set up here. There's a ladder. I wonder if there's a way up that. Get somewhere on the back side of this. Oh, I think you can. And we're going to send Gal over this way. Um, I should be... I need to raise some undead. Question is... We'll do it after this fight. Really? I can't get up there? Okay, maybe you can't. Unless I just have a bad angle. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Well, this is unexpected. Here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Oh, man. I should have taken out the ladder. Okay, we got ourselves a little bit of a problem here. I'm actually going to go Spirit Guardians for this. And we're going to go Radiant. Is there a Necrotic Resistant? So let's go Spirit Guardians Radiant. And let's... Spiritual Weapon. And let's move up a little bit to get those Spirit Guardians attacking. Oh, damn! These things explode! Dude, Shadow's almost dead! Wow. I feel like I have to stay within the Shadow Curse, too. I'm in mobile right now. Oh, man. This is crazy. Okay. Gotta figure out how to save Gal. All right, we got this dead Harper right here. Probably should just take him out, but actually... Yeah, uh, let me think here. I lacks half HP, too. Let's go ahead and rage. Give me something good. Okay, we have the teleport. That's actually kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Oh, shit. I attacked with my moon lantern. Thunder Wave when you freaking need it, dude. Where is Thunder Wave when you need it? Wonder if those things can jump over here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Do the three. I feel like I shouldn't even focus on these guys at all. Need to help out the team first. I didn't realize my character was moving. I just took three opportunity attacks. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, I think I can cast it now. And then we're gonna Misty Step all the way down here. I wanna get everybody together. Did it again.
Okay, I feel a little bit better. The whole flank thing with Gale didn't work out, but I have a feeling a lot of things aren't going to work out. Time to push my luck again. That's right. Another step forward. You bastard. Damn it. Shadow Curse Vines. Attack rolls against have advantage while its attack rolls and dexterity throws have disadvantage. Okay. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I love that. All right. I think we need a mass healing word out of you. Not that much heal, though. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Should have cast aid before this began. Let's go ahead and let's do a glyph of warding. Let's double check here. But we're going to want to do... Do thunder. What does thunder do? Okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Spiritual weapon's actually dead now, so let's call it back in because it can kind of tank a little bit. Let's put it this way. Okay, I like it, I like it. Oh, damn, she's almost dead. I feel like I have to stay within this bubble here. I'm gonna send my wolf up a little bit. It's gotta be careful of these vines. I wonder if I should start jumping over them. Ah, oh, damn it. Thought I'd get through that one. Yeah, spiritual weapon is working out really good. All right, so we got to be really careful of these stupid vines here. One twenty six and fifty six. I'm thinking about going after this smaller guy first. Shit. Stupid, man. I gotta get rid of the... Do I need to get rid of it, though? I think I have to keep it out. Because if I if I put the Moon Lantern away... I don't think I need the Moon Lantern until we enter the really dark areas of the map. I just need light source right now. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's switch back to our... I need an action for that. Damn, that really sucks. Yeah, I think you'll need the Moon Lantern, Jahira said, in the really dark area. So we just need regular torches around here. At least it's dealing damage. Wow, look at that. It looks so crazy. Dude, it's spawning more. This is ridiculous. Step to it. Sucks that these things are... Fireball doesn't help as much against these things. Oh, this, uh, the little ones actually would... Fireball works pretty good. Question is, can I do it without killing my own team? If I do a fireball right here, nobody's in it except the boss. Oh, this is great. This is a triple right here. Even though the boss is going to take half damage, I think this is worth it. Trying not to get Karlak in it. Let's put it right there. Oh, I might have hit Karlak a little bit. It's okay. She's resistant to fire. Wow, look at this. What is this stuff? How do I even... Morse 
I got an idea. If you have a bomb, that's force damage. That would actually be pretty good. But I also have a void ball that could possibly pull it into the cloud of daggers and closer to us too. Do, 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 do. Let's do the bomb. 45%. I think it's still going to do damage. 18 force damage, okay. And we'll take a shot. Shadow, I'm gonna leave you right behind a little bit and it might be time for a bless, actually. We're gonna do bless. Level two. Move up a little bit. And then spiritual weapon again. This is difficult terrain. Let's run. Let's test it out with the wolf a little bit. Let me jump up here. It does. It ensnares you too. It's the same as the stuff we we're stepping on before. That's crazy. That's bad. That's real bad. I need to hold on. Okay, Gal. Um, holy crap. Three of my teammates are almost dead right now. Ninety HP. Woo, we got some problems here. We got some major, major problems. I have one level three spell slot, three level one. Can't go up there. This would be a nice time to have Gale up top right there. Move up a little bit. Oh, thank God. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. I don't think this guy's gonna come up there, so. Oh, I shouldn't have done fire. Yeah, he... I would have done... Shouldn't have done fire. Alright, Karlak. I got a good idea for you. Let's teleport you... Right here. And I think I actually am going to switch now. That'll cost my action, but that's fine. Okay, my ranger's a little bit, uh, not, not looking good right now. Not looking good at all. Got all, oh, I do have some of these. Yep, I hit him in one of my backpacks, so. We'll drink that, and actually, oh, damn it, I should've drank the potion of speed first. We have any damn man what else do we got here there's got to be something are any potions in action bonus action give the potion of speed to Carlac. I'm gonna take these out so I can see them a little bit more they're all bonus actions all right so we're gonna go ahead and cast a spell defensive spell and I'm going to cast Blur. Lose Hunter's Mark, but that's okay. I already lost Hunter's Mark anyways. And Blur gives attackers disadvantage on their attack rolls, so... It'll be much, much harder to kill me. And it might be time to start dishing out damage. Fifty-five percent chance I'm on the low ground. It'd be nice to get some high ground here. Um, I think I can if I jump to right here. At least get rid of the disadvantage. 
still on low ground. Come on, game. I don't have my bonus action. Oh, man, 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 man. Not good, not good. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wow. Woo, okay. All right. You leave me no choice. And I'm also going to use, we're going to give Gale a level two spell slot back. But he might, yeah, yeah, we're going to give him a level two spell slot. Yep. Such a cool wild magic barb is really cool. And then we can take Gale and we can get the hell away. Okay, I would like to go up there, but I don't want to spend spell on Misty Step right now. And actually, this might be another, this might be a good Cloud of Daggers then. Put it right, right there. Okay. Kind of jump out of this stuff. That was beautiful. Okay, we just gotta survive this round now. Yes, 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 yes. He's got zero, he's got zero HP. He's got nine HP. That was crazy. Oh, it's going to turn base mode. Make sure Carl, as you can see, Gal is poisoned right now. He's taking damage. Digestive juices, one to six damage per turn. So in turn-based mode, it gives us a chance to, uh, to clear everybody up here. So let me see if I have an antidote. Wonder if that would work. Antidote would work on digestive juices. Simple Toxin, Elixir of Lightning Resistance, Poison Resistance, Wizard Bane Oil, Oil of Accuracy. I don't know if digestive juices are poison. Okay. Got a better idea. There's no time to waste. Lovely little pick me up. Pop a short rest. That's fine. Okay, we're good now. That helped. Oh, that was crazy. Definitely got to save that. After shambling. Let's we'll see if we got anything good. The Ironwood Club. Weapon enchantment plus one. So not really, but... Chad Root Sack. Wood Bark. Let me see if I can animate any of the dead. With the weave. I don't have any spell slots besides level one. Try not to get stuck in the vines.
That was a fun fight. And I tried setting up for it too. And the unexpected just occurred. Oh damn it, this is locked. What's next, I wonder? Bring Shadow up there so I can get guidance. Actually, I should just have Shadow lockpick it. Nice. The Ring of Self Immolation. Self immolation, one to four damage. Set yourself on fire to gain heat. What the heck? Engulfed by a vengeful fire takes one to four fire damage each turn, but can use heat convergence. Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. The next time you deal fire damage, you deal an additional one fire damage for every turn of heat remaining. Interesting. Let's equip it. Would I not pick it up? And there it is, self-immolation. So, we'll give that a try sometime. Don't waste a step. What if I can just set these things on fire? Doesn't look like you can. Okay. Let's head on out. That was pretty interesting. Use arcane recovery real fast. See if I can get a... Undead. Damn it. Come on, guys. Get down here. Oh, God. These freaking vines, dude. Oh yeah, now that we are... Now we can do two undead as a necromancer. Alright, everybody, I swear to god, the freaking pathing. Everybody get the hell over here. What the hell, man? Come on. Not, can you not animate dead as just one? Or is this, uh, I guess this is just a red corpse, so I can't do it. Because it's a, a carper that was raised in the Shadow Curse, maybe. That was already dead. Check out this battlefield over here. I love the sound that the lantern makes. North, last light in. South, Wythwind Town. Oh yeah, it says target can't be reanimated on it. Quit 
just want to see what this is over here real fast. Uh-oh, we got a save point. Thinking we might need a long rest after this, or before this. Not playing around with that. Uh oh, I like was screaming. Okay, so we're not in complete darkness yet. So let's go ahead and go back to her axe. What to do? We have the blessing of Saluna. Saluna's radiance protects against the. Oh, okay. So we don't even need. That was the whole point of the uh, of Isabel's blessing that she gave us. I forgot she gave us that. We don't even need torches right now. But when we get to the dark, we're going to need that moon lantern. No time to rest. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. She was no fun. All I wanted was to play! The hell was that? Someone new. Maybe they want to play. <laughs> well, that's freaky. Tolerable. Can't reanimate any damn corpses in the Shadowlands. Gotta look at what we're dealing with here, because something's gonna happen. What now? I wonder if the gods are watching me. Boom! I scared you! I saw it! Nobody beats me at hide and seek. Will you play with me? Okay, the boy. In a moment, maybe. Have you seen another little boy? His name is Thaniel. I don't know anyone called that. Don't ask me again. Now play with me. You want to play? Fine. All right. I'll hide and you seek. Find me. And you win. And if I don't find you? Then you lose. Damn, I wish I had detect invisibility. Or fairy fire. Let's begin. Get ready. And no cheating. Does that mean I can't use a spell? I need fairy fire right now. Unless that's considered cheating. And I don't have fairy fire. Hmm. Don't know if there's any other spells that I'm missing that will sh reveal somebody that's invisible. Okay. to see what we can do, I guess. Yoink. 
Wits and blades always sharp. Ring of Mental Inhibition. When a foe fails a saving throw against one of your spells, they gain mental fatigue. Minus one penalty to wisdom, intelligence, and charisma. Lantern may reveal that child. Actually, now I think about it. Hold on. Well, well, well. Hello? Oh. You weren't supposed to find me. You weren't supposed to win. Don't be a sore loser, kid. You're not my mummy. Don't tell me what to do. Let's play another game. I deserve a chance to even the score. I'm finished. We're not finished. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Oh, crap. What the hell is that? Level 7 Wraith? Got a ton of resistances, too. Holy crap. Can't be shoved, thrown. Nearby lights are extinguished in the presence of this creature. Oh my god. Okay. Mummy and daddy. That is, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's freaky. Alright. Let's, um... Wonder if they're gonna do ranged attacks or melee attacks. <sighs> okay, let's start off with Bless. And I'm a little bit worried about standing near the edge here. Go behind the wagon. Could just swing at the kid right now. <laughs> Let's set a spiritual weapon over here. I want to keep mommy away. Aura of Vile Oblivion. Oh, dude, this is... This is not good. physical damage is they're resistant to it so cloud of daggers wouldn't be that good here what about fire yeah resistant to fire damage too it's all about force and thunder i could use shatter right now that would be amazing all right let's start off with a magic missile i'm going all out level three At least get some health away from this dude. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Actually, now's the time to go up on the roof. Put him up. I guess we're gonna go all out on this guy right here. Whenever you take damage, your rage lashes out. Okay. That's good, because that's force damage, so... Ow. 
Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm going right after this guy. It's gonna be tough though. Oh damn, I shouldn't have done that. I should have jumped. Oh my gosh, I could banish. Hold on. Hold on. I really want to save the banishment scroll so Gale can learn it when I'm of the appropriate level. The charisma save. These guys have 15 charisma. It might be a little bit risky. Are they resistant to cold damage? Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I have another defensive spell that might actually be worth it. I do have mirror image. I'm gonna save mirror image for somebody else. My character is not gonna do that much damage because we have a slashing sword. It's also dark over there too. Damn. I don't know what to do right now. Acid resistance, too. Okay. I'm gonna move to right here. Let's take a regular shot at the dog. Okay, that was very, very good. Move her back behind cover. We're going to drink a potion. effects are incredible dude uh oh daddy's coming after you know what I think about daddy think I'm gonna drop a level 3 magic missile on his ass wow look at how I can curl it around that's so cool that's awesome you know what we're gonna do we're also going to use mirror and oh no never mind I to use my action. I gotta keep Gal alive because he's got the force damage right now. Harlack and my character are not as good. Okay, that's one down. around the back side. I put my wolf to sleep. Dark currents.
gonna knock me prone if I jump down. Let's just go ahead and recast Hunter's Mark. It's Uh oh, where'd he go? Well, that was interesting. Did not leave me any loot or anything? And I got 180 XP, but... Damn it. Oh man, it's so annoying. Come on guys, everybody down. Let's go. How much farther can I go? Who's still up here? Yeah, that's Carlac. Don't be shy. Yeah, let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything here. Better than nothing. Definitely will be interesting to play that scene a few times. I don't know, I feel like I missed something, but not seeing anything, so it was just a freaky encounter. Okay, cool. Now let's go towards Moonrise Towers. I wonder if Helson wants to talk about that kid that we just met. Oh, you know what I would like to do is dig up that site. I don't remember where it's at though. You remember that mound that I was on that I didn't have the shovel for? That's all right. Whatever. It's just one dig site. Okay, let's quickly travel to camp. Just gonna go to camp in the daytime. Talk to Helson real fast. Nobody else needs to talk, I don't think. Just curious if that Oh look, it did it did up no it didn't update. You wish to speak? Nope. Might as well take a long rest. We got enough supplies. Open this cage, you oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's uh, let's mess with the pixie now. I'm gonna put the pick. I'm gonna put it on my main character. And gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie. Oh, please, oh, golly, me, oh, mom. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Fail the intelligence check again. 
I know you fay deal and favors. What do I get for freeing you? If you release me from this cell, I'll bless you with a fairy spell. Ooh, I could use fairy fire. Alright, you know what? As a ranger who doesn't appreciate creatures being trapped like that, let's just see what happens. Let's release the pixie. Starhand disapproves. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. <sighs> Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? I need to get through the shadow curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that was interesting. Billy Greed Feywild Bell. This ornately decorated ball, tarnished with age, rings with mischievous giggle, not unlike its pixie enchanter. Been blessed already, haven't you? Move on with your life! <laughs> okay, so we don't need it at this moment, but let's uh head back in. Light on my feet. There was a battle here once. A large one. See if we can reanimate the dead. Sorry, y'all. I'm a pretty bad necromancer. Aren't I? I should have went evocation with wizard the way I've been playing, gal. But you know what? It's, uh... Yeah, you can't even animate the skeletons. This is how you learn and get better at the game and subclasses and everything is by playing them and making mistakes for a while and then eventually you come around and... That's okay with me. It's not like Gal is bad when I'm not using necromancy spells, but just not taking advantage of his subclass to the fullest. Heck is this? Seed weapons. Looks like they haven't been touched in a hundred years. like having a barbarian in my group not worried about sending her front line because she can just rage take all the damage oh damn I jumped her all the way back right animate these corpses actually let me bring And then that's the Harper's Stronghold, okay. Let's see if I can animate a few of these corpses right here. I think I can actually do these ones. using the necromancer wizard and I just got to remember when Gale is low in HP you use a necromancy spell 
to gain more HP back for him. It works with any spell that you cast. The Grim Harvest feature. If you cast a Necromancy spell and get the Killing Blow, you get even more HP back, so... Okay. Hey. Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. What happens when we walk into that? Okay, so that must be the place where we need. Whoa. What the heck is going on here? All right, I think we got to bring the entire party over here though. Yep, we do. Or we could go into the south. Oh, I think we're getting real close to Moonrise Towers. This is crazy. the lantern to find the been blessed already haven't you okay so she gives us okay i didn't realize it so we have the pixie blessing the shadow curse cannot affect this creature thanks to a pixie's protective magic that's what all the swirls around my characters are all right put everybody into stealth let's uh let's check this out a little bit Oh man, we have a vision line down here. What the hell is that? This is the toll house. Another one of those things right there. Okay, let's come over here. Let's cast a little... We're going to actually take advantage of Shadow Heart's Channel Divinities. From the Dalelands. Oh, the rats must have feasted. Minor illusion would be nice right here. You could just distract it. Whoa, look at that thing. 
What the heck? 600 HP? Holy crap, this is the thing that was in the trailer that one time. Level 8 undead. My party's level 6. Coin helmet, coin caress. Oh my gosh. Alert. You gain a plus 5 to initiative. Coin armor. Armor enchanted in coins. This creature's clinking emblem of golden greed. Could there be a method of removing that armor without destroying the coins? Huh. Wow. Heat metal? Would probably destroy the coins. Turn resistant. Effect entity has advantage on saving throws against any. Okay, wow. That thing's terrifying. Bring Gal back this way. Go check out this room. You know what's funny is I'm sneaking around with her weapon. I think it sheds light in the area. Sheds a holy light in 20 foot radius. In combat, fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded. It's actually really good. Oh, what is this freaking place, dude? You know what's crazy is we haven't even been to the city yet. On my way. The largest portion of the game. Wow. We are in a dangerous, dangerous area right now. Shadow Cursed Harpers. We have some priests of Saluna tell by the emblem covered in the shadow curse vines oh crap oh my god oh I'm so lucky that gal didn't get spotted right there which way to the nearest library the heck is that right there what was that I better do a save right here stealth Shadow. These undead have reduced hit points and strength. They're resisted to necrotic damage and cannot use. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? If we end up getting into a combat encounter, it's probably going to be a long one. So I'm going to sneak my party up here. And then this is probably a good stopping point for this episode. And I'm assuming next episode we'll probably push through this uh, little toll house area and actually make it to Moonrise Towers. So next episode is probably going to be quite the experience. My step. Anything on the roof right here? This is definitely a better way to approach this encounter in here. I might actually try to fight that coin purse lady. I gotta think about a solution for it. Wow, this is a great vantage point right here. See if we can get to Moonrise. Moonrise is over here. Oh my gosh, there it is. No way. That's Moonrise Towers. We've been wanting to go to Moonrise for three years of early access. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. That might be worth a oh. Look. Thank you so much for watching. And we will continue this on the next episode.